Welcome to this screencast. We are going to quickly build up a cash flow table using normal English words. This is for my ICT GCSE students in 2016-17. Here's my table and I'm going to start by putting the months of the year at the top. You found doing your research that a cash flow is checking how much money comes into your business or your organization at the start of each month, how much money goes out each month, and then you add it all up to see if you got any money left in your bank account at the end. Here are some column headings I've made earlier. Now, as I said, I don't want to use any keyword. Uh, if you do study business studies, you're welcome to use the proper business keywords for this. If you do not do it, just use normal English. And we start with knowing with how much money we've got in the bank at the start of the month. And the start of January is also the start of the year. So this number you've got, if it hasn't been given to you, you just make it up. So let's use a nice round number, 1000 at the start of the year in the bank. Now, if we have a sports club, an amateur sports club. So we are going to maybe have some member fees paid in. We might have a grant from the council. And let's uh, let's say that we've got a sponsorship with a local business. Um, so members fees, if, uh, if uh, each member puts in a tenor, um, every month and uh, is paid every three months and you've got 11 football players so you've got um, no, well a bit more let's say let's say we've got uh, 3,300 3, pound of fees coming in every three months um, now for our grant that will be a once a year sponsorship once a year as well so Total in is going to be a formula equals sum open bracket and you just drag across all the lines you've got in your money coming in. There we are. Now a sports club, so we're going to rent a, f a football pitch. We are going to have um, some expenses, so we're going to have to buy some kit. We are going to have to um, pay for some travel costs. And let's say that uh, there is an internet website. So there's a website to, uh, to pay for. Um, and I, maybe let's say there's a, a phone, a mobile phone um, that we've got. So we've got all these costs um, and our rent is going to be always the same every month. So 100 pound of uh, well, it's a bit cheap. Let's say, um, yeah, 500 pound of 500. I said every month in rent kit will be a one off. So I leave it blank for January travel. Let's, uh, let's just say half a tank full of petrol, 35 pound. The website is a fixed fee of 10 pound a month and the mobile, there's a very cheap, uh, cheap, um, uh, I'm, let's just say I don't know eight pound a month for the mobile. All right, so total out, same thing again, equal sum. Open your bracket, drag the mouse across. There we go. And now, how much money have we got in the bank at the end of the month? Well, you calculate this by starting with how much you have at the start of the month. Then you add how much comes in during the month and you take away how much goes out. There we are. Now, what we are going to do, we could, well, in a minute, we are going to copy and paste all of this across the, the whole of the year. But before I explain that, we need to make it clear that the money at the start of February in the bank is the same than what you have in the bank at the end of January. So you've got this diagonal, you, you, this number here, you need the same one 
up there and then this diagonal this is going to to be copied all the way across from one month to the next until you get to december the number you will have here will be the one that will be the starting point for next year cash flow but we don't need to worry about that at this moment in time so let's just um, take all of this and then copy copy it here now you could drag it across but see how this incre increments some of these numbers automatically so i don't want to do that i'll do control z to this time take everything including money in at the start of the month and i use copy and paste instead of dragging and put it all in there so um uh, this uh, this sports club is doing very well uh, as you can see it's uh, it's money is is increasing all the time but there is a small problem i did say that members fees were paid in every three months so let's correct this uh, the rent goes out every month that's right travel yes so those costs are the same um, that's all right now at this moment in time it's important to use these numbers that have been you've picked them up out of a hat they are, may not be the correct one but this is important in order to test your spreadsheet now let's say that um, at the at the start of the financial year so in april in mid-april the council is going to give us a grant of a thousand pound see how that changes everything in your cash flow um, the rent is a bit unrealistic considering how much money this uh, this um, uh, club has got so let's say that the rent was one thousand pound instead of 500 if i copy this across all right that's a bit more realistic for sports clubs so you start you've got a bit of money at the start of the year you got a bit more at the end that starts to be a bit more what we expect to see um, we can say that to in the autumn there's a sponsorship deal 500 pounds and then we can also say that uh, there is a one-off uh, uh, um, payment for brand new kit after receiving the council grant so sometimes in may um, we are going to spend a thousand pound on kit so this club is still doing very well you start the year with one thousand pound you finish the year with two thousand uh, and if you want to do a bit of uh, uh, what if analysis what you could do um, and then this is doing it by hand this is giving you an idea of what a what if analysis is it's not yet looking into more complicated method to do it but uh, an amateur club who starts with 1000 finishes with 2000 some of the members could actually say hold on a minute can you lower our fees there's a recession going on at the moment this is getting a bit expensive so if instead of uh, 3000 pounds let's say that in may um, instead of 3300 we only get 3000 from our 11 members and that this number is going to be carried across throughout this new financial year. What impact does this have on our club? Well, this club is still very healthily making a, a profit during the year of, uh, if you start with 1,000, you finish with 1,464, so you got 464 pound profit. So this is how you can use your cash flow to model some different scenario. I hope uh, this has been useful to you and uh, make sure to apply this in your coursework.